This video shows how to plot the intersection between multiple graphs in 3D using Graphing Calculator 3D software. To begin, let's type the formula for our first graph. And our second graph will be a simple horizontal plane with equation z equals to 0. To draw the intersection curves between these two graphs, simply change the draw mode from surface to intersection. This will plot the intersection curves between the second graph and our original first graph. To get a better view of the intersection curves, simply turn off the first graph. You cannot turn off the second graph because that will hide the intersection lines as well as the graph. Now let's change the second formula to an oriented plane and you will see that the intersection curves will be updated and plotted. If you are interested to just view the intersection curve, you could do that also, uh, but you cannot turn off both graphs that will hide the entire view. Uh, you, the way to do it is by making both graphs transparent. To only see the curves, drag the transparency all the way to nothing. Now only the intersection curve will be visible. You might notice a disconnect in the curve. That's because of our low resolution. Increasing the resolution from 5 to 7 should fix the problem. You will notice that the table of value contains the entire intersection XYZ coordinate. So by clicking on them, you'll see a point highlighting on the curve. And as you go up and down table values, which is sorted by X, you could basically trace through the intersection curve along x-axis. Now we're going to plot the intersection between three graphs. To do that, let's first turn off the intersection curve, change it back to surface, and we're going to also turn off the transparency of both graphs. Now we can see the graphs. We'll type the formula for our third graph, which is our original horizontal plane. Now we're going to try to find an intersection between the first graph and each of the second and third graphs. So we go to the first graph and change its draw mode from surface to intersection. So here you see that is the intersection curve between our second graph and these are the intersection curves with the third graph. They're all drawn as white curves. You can change the thickness of the curve or you can change the color of it.
If you like to assign a different color to the two intersection curves, you could do that too. The way to do that is by setting the intersection on the other two instead of the first. So you turn off the intersection on, on the first graph, but you turn it on here on the second graph by changing the draw mode from surface to intersection. Now you get one set of intersection curves. Then you do the same with the third graph to get a second set of intersection curves. This will let you change the color. We'll change the second intersection curve to blue, increase the thickness. And for the second one, we'll leave the color as white and increase the thickness. We can go ahead and just like before, set the transparencies of our graphs on so we can just view the intersection curves. Here you can see how we have two different colors representing the intersection with two different graphs. 